Hey, hello, Libyans, and this is Scrooge here. Hopefully, you're having a great day. I am having a great day. Today, we are also back again and Shark Evolution. Num, 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 num. And I actually have the pleb of the day. Um, He wants to come, come out and say hi. He is hiding. But today, we are in Shark Evolution, and I'm going to show you how to go from little bitty noob to being a pro without having to spend a lot of Robux. We're going to be talking mostly about Atlanta coins. I'm going to go into detail of what you should be spending them on. Because everyone's like, oh, I'm just going to buy the 15 minute boosters every time I can't. No, I'm going to show you what to do with them. I'm also going to show you values, stuff like that. And I'm going to talk about good spots to AFK that not necessarily auto train works well with. So let's get on into the video. All right, guys. And our pleb of the day is Mr. Skylight. He comes to us from YouTube and also Discord. Thank you for being the pleb of the day. You are awesome. Hey guys, and if you haven't already, please make sure that you smash, 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 smash that lovely like button for me. And also do the same thing with the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. It means the world to me. So when you start the game, you are a little bitty guppy. You are over here killing them snails and seals. You need to be doing that for the first zone. So when this is going to start coming into play is once you start getting Atlanta coins. Atlanta coins, if y'all didn't know, you get one every single minute that you are in game. That doesn't mean you have to be at your computer. That just means you have to be in game. So, I have figured out that a single day, because you get 60 Atlanta coins an hour, times 24, that's about 1,440 coins a day that you can get. And, if you didn't know, I talked about this in my last video, you can upgrade your boost for a certain amount. They start at 5,000, they go up to 10,000, they go up to 15, 20, so on and so forth. Those can take a while to grind. But here's the benefit, guys. It's going to be allow you to evolve faster. Notice I didn't say mutate. And there's a reason behind this. When you are getting your Atlanta coins, I would highly recommend if you t intend to AFK all day in the game, after about three and a half, four days, you will have enough to buy your first boost and food. What you are going to do is permanently upgrade your food multiplier from times five to times ten. And you're like, sister, that's not that big of a difference. Because then I still have to pay the Atlanta coins. Wait for it. Once a day, you will buy the one hour boost. And you're like, sister, why would I buy the one hour boost? Uh, maths, plebs. Maths. So the one hour boost costs 360 AC coins. That still leaves you at the end of the day, 1,080 AC coins. Okay. Now you're at that times 10 boost. So you are going to rocket getting meat. Because at higher levels, it takes longer and longer. You will still have to AFK for a few days. This game reminds me a lot of Bee Swarm Simulator because you have to wait a long time to be able to do a whole lot. So what you're going to do as you're going to keep moving through the zones I've talked about in the egg video is that you're only going to buy one 15 minute boost for luck in each zone once you are able to grind for 15 minutes on that egg to be able to get the good skills because you're going to have that good multiplier. Once a day, you are only going to buy the one hour boost for me. Make sure you can stay at your computer at that time because you don't want to get enough meat to be able to evolve and then not be able to do anything with it. And then basically, as you move through the zones, guys, it's really simple. You're going to keep upgrading that lovely meat boost the entire time you're going through here. Every single time. The reason you, I would recommend only meat, especially for people who don't have Robux, you can't spend a whole lot, is the following. There is only six sharks that require a mutation out of 50. That means 44 of them require meat in order to evolve. It makes no real sense that for what? A little over 10% you actually need DNA. Those would be just days that you grind for AC coins so that you can upgrade your meat because sister managed to grind enough for times 50. I didn't spend a single Robux. And now I get a times 50 multiplier and usually once a day, I am able to evolve now. I don't plan on getting any more meat. And I'm able to hit that one hour boost constantly. And I am all the way here to this guy right here, grinding on this single, single goober. And I have attack off, so he's just going to keep numbing on my face. Am I able to fight the giant lizard turtle that's in the other side? No, but I have hardly spent any Robux, much like the other people on the leaderboards. The other thing, guys, is auto train is awesome. You walk over to an enemy, you hit auto train. And if y'all didn't know, you are now automatically auto trained to whatever your goal creature is. 
So you will automatically start moving. So I'm going to go all the way to the end to go kill that guy. There's a few areas that this does not work well in. Let me explain. So as you start getting to the later and later tiers, there is only a single boss. So that means when you're hunting DNA or you're hunting meat after you've mutated and you got evolved down, uh, you are only able to fight one guy at a time. However, especially when you are bigger sharks, what I would recommend is you are able to reach multiple areas. I can attack the big boss. I can also attack the little fishies behind me. So I won't be auto training. So what I would do is I turn on the meat booster and sit right here and numb on both of them. The other thing, as you keep going further and further down, these guys keep getting harder and harder. And if you've ever been to this zone, there's this lovely thing that happens. I know not all of you are to the aquarium yet that's over here. This big guy, Mr. Blue Man right here, likes to aggro on you. However, if you sit on the very edge of the entrance, don't have auto train on, you sit right here. Get your skills turned on. He doesn't aggro. These guys will, though. Once they figure out what's going on with their lives. Little bitty spot right here in the entrance. They will... Yep, see? They're starting to run towards me. This would be an area that... I am not endorsing auto-clickers. I'm not saying I use an auto-clicker. But using an auto clicker right here and just sitting right here and farming these two when you're not able to defeat that guy right there. Big bonus. Big, big bonus. I'm going to talk about Ascension. If you don't know what that is, that is the newest update that has come out. So in order to ascend, you have to be the max shark. Max shark is the 50th shark. How do you find out what shark you are? You click settings. You see the shark modifier pass required? This gives a list of all the sharks and what number they are. So you can see what your shark number is. I'm 48. I kind of want to know what shark level y'all are if you're playing the game. So let me know in the comments below. The 50th shark. And you have to be level 100. And then you can go into this lovely portal over here. Because that is the Leviathan. That is the max shark that you can get. You go in here. And you are basically able to rebirth. That is a wall. And then you are basically able to rebirth. And after you rebirth, you will actually get a legacy skill that is unique. And after your ninth rebirth, ninth, I said ninth there, you will be able to go to the city of Atlantis. I have only seen other videos about it. I have not experienced it myself. But when I am able to, I will make a detailed video about each of those. All right, plebs, hopefully you found the video very informative, help you be less of a noob, and hopefully you're able to grind more effectively. And guys, remember, you're going to be putting buffs into food and luck only when you are able to spend that 15 minutes so that you can use the Atlantic coins wisely so you can get through to that ascension. If you've liked the video, please make sure you've liked and subscribed. I would greatly appreciate it, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!